Tim LaHaye described our guest as a well-qualified expert in Bible prophecy. He is right, and he is speaking, of course, of Mark Hitchcock and his book that we're offering this month, Blood Moons Rising. Great piece of work. Love talking to you. We are now in the millennial reign of Jesus Christ. As day by day we've been talking about the prophetic timeline. A thousand years of peace, prosperity, Jesus physically reigning on this earth. But the question we mere mortals ask mm -hmm. is what happens at the end of 1,000 years? Well, the, the 1,000 years is what I like to call the front porch of eternity. It's a phase one of God's eternal kingdom. And after Christ has ruled and reigned on this earth for a thousand years and fulfilled all of God's promises for this earth, God is going to destroy this present heaven and earth and He's going to make a new heaven and a new earth. If God spoke it all into existence. He's going to speak it all out of existence. Again, it staggers us to think of that, but God's going to make a new heaven and a new earth, a new, a new earth, a new universe. And then it tells us the heavenly city, the new Jerusalem, which I take it is the abode of God right now. It's, it's where God exists, is going to come down out of heaven from God and sit on this new earth. So that heavenly city, the new Jerusalem, will come down and sit on the new earth and serve as kind of like the metropolis or the capital city uh, for all of God's new creation. We will inhabit uh, this new earth, uh, the new heavens that God has created, that heavenly city. That will be the abode of, of God's people for all of eternity. And our preoccupation will be worship of God and adoration really? of God. Does the Bible reveal any other operational things that go on during the new heavens and the new earth? Not really. It tells us that we're going to reign with Him. It tells us we're going to serve Him. It tells us we're going to worship Him. And, you know, people often say, well, won't heaven be boring? Well, look at this world we live in now, how wonderful and beautiful this world is. Wow. And this is a sin-cursed world. Think of what that will be. And, you know, to me, the main thing is about heaven is God will be there. Uh, the, the infinite, majestic Amen. Creator will be there. And if God is there, then, then heaven will be heaven. I mean, that, that's, that's all we need to think of is God will be there and that's going to be enough to satisfy us uh, for all of eternity. And you and I have done enough funerals for the saints mm -hmm. uh, and we've stood by those graveside and given promises to family members, not based on our knowledge, but based on the Word of God. Uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And it is eternal life when right. you are with Him, is it not? It is. And one of the features I love about that heavenly city, the New Jerusalem, is the 12 gates are the 12 names of the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. And if you go back and think about those 12, those 12 patriarchs of Israel, they sold their brother into slavery. They were going to kill him. That's right. And they let their poor father believe all that time that he died. And to me, that's a comfort to know that the 12 gates into that heavenly city have the names of these 12 tribes of Israel there that tells us that any sinner, no matter what we've done, can be redeemed by, by God's grace and enter in uh, to eternity through Jesus Christ. And no matter what you've done, no matter what sin you or I may have committed, the death of Jesus Christ on the cross is enough. Your repentance of that sin and trust in Him as your Lord and Savior, confessing Him as your Lord and Savior, that's what's needed to happen in, in your life. It's what Mark and I have done. It's what thousands, if not millions of you have done. But you today that are watching, if you've not done that, why don't you pray to receive Jesus as your Savior? There's a phone number on the screen. On the other end of that phone number are people who know how to pray and know how to encourage. And they can share with you God's plan of forgiveness and eternal life. I wish that you would call. And I also wish that uh, you would take a look at uh, this upcoming uh, piece that will tell you how you can order Blood Moons Rising. This is a great book and I want to encourage you to order it. And I want to encourage you to become a monthly partner with us financially as well. If you like this kind of programming, I hope you'll invest in it. Take a look at this.